Hey guys, Luke here from iGen Entrepreneur and today I want to go over a widely requested topic and that is forecasting your profit, so having a target profit and looking at what sales you need to make and how much you need to be spending purchase wise in order to hit that target and that can help you with cash flow projections in terms of capital you need and help you set realistic targets so if you're thinking about for example quitting your job and you know how much income you need to make that happen you could use something like this to help you so I'm going to really quickly show you how I do this and if you check in the description there will also be a link to get a copy of this example that I've used and then you can go ahead and edit it as you wish in order to use this yourself all right so I'm going to get straight into it um, this is a demo I had with someone who I just had a call with so he did it sort of three hours ago and it's really the one thing I would say to make this work is you need to have sample data so I can use my own stats but for you to really get the most out of this you need to look at what your ROI um, margin those kind of things are to make this work you can do it from an ROI point of view you can do it from gross margin point of view if you know any of these things you can make this work so let's get into it first thing you need to know your fixed costs um, I used 1500 as an example that's going to vary depending on if for example you've got VAs if you're using an accountant uh, software all these things so to give you a rough idea I pay um, about £2,250, so we use this for me, for VAs, accounting um, and all the software subscriptions that I have, uh, that's because I have quite a lot of VAs, my business is like 95% automated and yeah. My target profit personally is £5,000 and actually in that fixed cost I need to add my salary just like another 800 so I'm gonna round this and then there's bonuses so I'm gonna actually call this 3100 because my VAs are performing quite well lately they're getting more bonuses and it's not really a variable cost it's a fixed cost if you're not sure what I mean by variable and fixed costs just uh, you can google them in short a fixed cost is something that doesn't change uh, whether you sell one unit or whether you sell 500 <coughs> or 10,000 and um, see there's some that are in between a variable cost is something that for each unit you sell you incur that cost so for example Amazon's fees prep fees they're all variable costs fixed cost would be sort of how much you pay your accountant but again they're not strictly fixed cost because it will vary depending on the volume you're doing but for this um, I'm going to include them in fixed cost so it makes our calculations easier gross profit I'm basically anything I'm including when I'm analyzing my deals I'm factoring that in uh, so the gross profit so back to this we're going to say 3,100 again it depends on you target profit I'm saying 5,000 pounds then that gives us the gross profit we need in order to hit our target net profit for the period which will allow you to grow and pay yourself the salary what you want um, yeah you could argue that your salary could be in the target profit to me the company and myself are different um, I want the company to keep growing so I want target profit to be 5,000 end of the year could take dividends of that if I want to okay if you're not sure what I'm talking about look at speak to an accountant uh, for tax advice but the salary because as a company a limited company you and the business are separately um, separate legal entities so that's why I'm keeping those separate my gross margin personally is about 18% it's actually more like 17.8 but I'm trying to add to 18 for simplicity so from there I know that I need 45,000 pounds in sales a month because 45,000 times by 0.18 gives me my gross profit so I need 45,000 sales a month you can do that per week it's roughly 4.35 weeks in a month so you do this divided by 4.35 will give you your sales per week and I've got a number that's very similar to that on my whiteboard it's just slightly different because of this uh, gross margin so I know what my target sales my target purchasing is per week this is my sales to purchases ratio so for every 10 pounds 
I sell, I'm going to be selling 22.2 maybe. Yeah, 22 pounds, 20 pence in worth of stock. So again, this is just my very one pound in stock I purchase. How many pounds do I sell? And the reason that's important is because we need to know how much we're spending to generate this much in sales. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I, I divide this by my sales to purchase ratio to get the amount of purchase I need per month. Um, again, you can just divide it by 4.35. What have I done there? Uh, yep. So divided by 4.35 gives you your purchases per week you need. Again, that's very similar to the number I have on my whiteboard, just slightly different. And so you can look at this and say, if I spend £4,659 a week consistently and sell this consistently, then I'm going to be confident that I'm getting around this per month, assuming this stays the same and this stays the same, which probably will do depending on your sample size of your data. A um, couple of things to note, like if you, there's going to be a bit of a lag. If you go out today and spend 20 grand, you're not going to get 45k in sales tomorrow because you've got to buy the stock. You gotta ship it into Amazon, you gotta wait for sorry, you gotta deliver to you, then ship it into Amazon, wait for it to sell, wait for that pending balance to come through. So there are gonna be cash flow implications. I'm not gonna go into that in, t in uh, detail in this video, but you can look at your cycle between how long it's taking you to sell stock. There's tons more variables there. Um, just be conscious of that. The bit the important thing to notice is though that this sales is really important because just because you're purchasing this much a week doesn't mean you're going to get this much in sales you need to be monitoring your unsold stock levels and if that's going up week on week then you're in trouble if you're purchasing this same amount every week uh, let's just say you are hitting exactly this and your unsold stock levels going up that means your sales are going to be lower than this and you're either having a repricing issue or you're um, purchasing having a purchasing issue so I hope that's helped. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link to this template in the description. What I'll also do is if anyone wants more help with this, um, they can check out the, you can drop me a message on Facebook. It's Luke Filer. Um, do offer coaching as well. Some people have asked about that. So I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Apart from that, I hope this has helped. If you was just starting out, I wouldn't really worry about this because you're not going to know this data to work off. It might give you something to um, work on. Again, I do purely online arbitrage. Um, there's a lot of rumors that you have to do a wholesale, private label, whatever to uh, get big sales. I suppose that depends on what you mean by big. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.